Single arm hang transitions. This is a more advanced version of hanging. So if you're not ready for this, or it causes you pain or anything, then you definitely need to work more on passive hanging and on active passive hanging transitions with both arms. So the only thing we're doing here is going completely passive in one arm, holding for between three and 10 seconds, and then changing to the other side. The things to think of here is that you don't wanna swing at all when you're in your single arm hang. So what you watch when I go down, I'm not swinging around and you wanna go into a completely passive hang. So once I change over into this side here, you see I go into a completely passive hang and then I switch to the other side. So there is of course a component here where I lift and pull up actively, but that's not the goal here. We're not trying to actively pull as high as we can. All I'm doing here is grabbing onto the pull up bar, then shifting my weight to the other hand, gently letting go and then going into a passive hang. Once you set up, the three cues to think of are keep the elbow straight, don't swing or move when hanging with one arm and stay in a passive hang when hanging with one arm. You're going to aim for between one and a half and five minutes of accumulated hanging time. So between 90 and 300 seconds. So what does that mean? If you can only do 30 seconds of accumulated time, then you'll do that for three sets. If you can do 60 seconds of accumulated time, you do two or three sets and you measure your progress in two ways. The first way is how much total time you can get working up towards a total accumulated time of five minutes over maybe two to three sets. And the second way is how long you hang for on each arm. So we work with between three and 10 second hangs. So you'll start by doing three second hangs and then you can work up to doing five seconds on each arm, then seven or eight seconds, and then finally 10 seconds. And then you're also working towards your accumulated total. So some days you'll only be able to do 90 seconds and other days you'll be doing two, three or four minutes of an accumulated total. Some days you might only have time to do one set, others, other days you might have time to do two or three sets. It's totally fine, but you're just measuring success by your a total accumulated hanging time and also by how long you hang for with each single hang. 